Hello dancers, Miss Hope here to tell you about a story that you might not have heard. Many of you probably know the story of the Nutcracker Ballet, but you might not know that there are many other famous story ballets that are danced all around the world. Today, I am going to tell you the story of Coppelia. Once upon a time, in a small village, lived Swanilda and Franz, who were engaged to be married. There also lived a toy maker named Dr. Coppelius, who had just finished making a beautiful dancing doll named Coppelia. Dr. Coppelius placed his doll on the balcony of his toy shop for all of the village to see. Later, Franz saw Coppelia sitting on the balcony and couldn't help but notice her beauty. Not knowing that she was a doll and not a real girl, Franz blew her a kiss, but Swanilda was watching and became filled with jealousy. That night, when Dr. Coppelius left his toy shop, Swanilda and her friends decided to sneak in to learn more about this mysterious new girl. Franz, wanting to meet the girl as well, decided to sneak in too. In the toy shop, they found many different toys that all moved in different ways, from teddy bears to robots, rag dolls to toy soldiers. All that they could see were toys everywhere. As all of the toys danced around them, they began to finally realize that Coppelia was just another doll. But Dr. Coppelius had returned, and all of Swanilda's friends ran away as fast as they could, leaving Franz and Swanilda behind. As Swanilda hid from Dr. Coppelius, she decided to trick him into thinking that she was Coppelia and that the doll had actually come to life. In all of the confusion that she causes in pretending to be the doll, Swanilda and Franz escape from the toy shop together, leaving Dr. Coppelius to realize that Coppelia is still just a doll. Swanilda and Franz are happy again and have a wonderful wedding where the whole town can celebrate.